Okay, it looks like that seal is in there all the way. And I can see that silicone. I have to make sure I keep that off of the lip of the seal. So I need to go in there and uh, make sure that silicone is out of the way. This may be the area where the uh, silicone was being pushed ahead of the seal. A little hard to tell now. So I spent some time at getting that silicone out of there and uh, also it looked like the seal hadn't been uh, pushed or driven all the way in uh, on uh, w one side. So I worked at that and a little more silicone came up, very little bit. Worked at getting that out as well. So particularly I was concerned about getting uh, silicone on the lip of the seal. You know, that was the uh, critical part. These are the veins that were inside this vacuum pump and they can apparently build up a varnish from the diesel engine oil and when that happens then they uh, don't slide as freely as what they are intended to and the vacuum can start to drop off. So I uh, took all of these out and I cleaned out the uh, inside of this pump with brake cleaner and I wiped these down with a rag and I just slid them in one at a time just to confirm that they are sliding freely. So I checked them all. They all slide nicely, but I think I'm going to sand them all just a little bit. So if those veins had been sticking because of varnish, there's a way I could fix that. I've got a piece of glass here that I'm using as a flat surface and a piece of sandpaper that's suitable for wet sanding and also some WD-40 on there as well and I could sand the varnish off with this uh, sandpaper and uh, mine were still operating freely but I'm still giving them all a light sanding anyways These veins, they seem to have a bit of a flat spot where they run against the housing. So I've been watching for that and trying to get them back in so that they're uh, running in the same direction as when they came out. The o-ring that comes in the seal kit doesn't seem to fit the groove quite right. However, the kit also comes with this thick, sticky grease that's to be used to hold the o-ring in place during assembly. And I also put some effort into trying to minimize how much grease I got on the case this side of the o-ring because I didn't want to have that grease squeezing into the vacuum pump during assembly. I removed a little more excess grease off that uh, o-ring area. So this vacuum pump when it's assembled and installed it gets an oil feed line and it comes from here the oil through the line and uh, there's an opening there in that bushing and uh, so that bushing it runs on here so I'd like to get some oil on the bushing here as well and also on this surface here and uh, there's an alignment pin here that goes together on there. Engine oil has been applied. So right now there's a gap right there and I think what's happening is the shaft assembly is being pushed up because of the way it's sitting on the workbench. So I'm just going to 
set this on some wood and then I think that'll drop down. Okay, so I think I'm ready to tighten that down now. 